so topic 8 acid base and salt and the subtopic is type of oxides what are oxide the term oxide means uh, the compound which contain oxygen when oxygen react with another element it result in a formation of a compound and we call that as oxide so what are the different types of oxides you should be able to classify the oxides are basically divided into two categories first main categories there can be a non metallic oxide non metallic oxide means uh, a non metal is present with oxygen and oxide can be a metallic oxide metallic oxide means the metal is present with oxygen because we know oxygen is a non metal itself oxygen is a non metal so when two non metals are there what kind of bonding they will have they will have covalent bonding and metal react with non metal oxygen is a non metal so what kind of bonding they will have they will have ionic bonding so oxides can be divided first into non metallic and metallic oxide and then non metallic oxide are further divided into two categories one is called acidic another one is known as neutral what is the meaning of acidic oxide acidic oxide it can react with base like it act like an acid can react with base so oxide which can act like an acid and react with base only or alkali we call that as acidic oxide what is a neutral oxide a neutral oxide and oxide which does not act like acid or base so neutral oxide oxide which is not having an acidic nature or not having a basic nature that we call as a neutral oxide i will give examples the next slide you will see the examples the table is also there uh, but the idea like from the name you should be able to identify so first oxide can be divided into metal oxide or non metal oxide and the non metal oxides are further divided into acidic and neutral oxide what is the meaning of acidic oxide acidic oxide means they can re they can act like an acid so they if something act like an acid it can react with base only they don't react with acid they can react with base a neutral oxide does not react with acid or base it is a neutral does not have any specific nature whereas metal oxide is divided into two category basic oxide and amphoteric oxide what is the meaning of basic oxide basic oxide means it act like a base so basic oxide it act like a base and it can react with acid only so if we add acid they can react if we add base they don't react and what about the amphoteric oxide amphoteric oxide means it can act like both acid and base or it can react with both acid and base so is it it is easy to remember like acidic oxide acidic oxide means that is the nature like it is having a acidic nature so acidic oxide can react because acid can react with base so acidic oxide can react with base but acid acid does not react so it cannot react with acid same way neutral oxide from the name you can identify neutral means like does not have any na specific nature in terms of acidic or alkaline so we call them as neutral oxide and they they are neither acidic nor alkaline they don't react with acid or base a term basic oxide means their nature they have a basic nature so base can react with acid so that's why they can react with acid only and the term amphoteric it means dual or two natures so what are two natures it can react with both acid and base 
Is it clear first the definitions of acidic, neutral, basic, and amphoteric oxides? Then how to identify is the second thing. But first thing, you should understand the term that if we say acidic oxide, it can react with base. If it's a basic oxide, can react with acid. If it is amphoteric oxide, can react with both. And it's a neutral oxide, does not react with acid or base. Now, how you will identify the acidic and the basic oxide, as well as acidic, basic, neutral, and amphoteric? So, as you can see here, the amphoteric oxide, the term amphoteric oxide means they can react with both acid and alkali. So, what are amphoteric oxide? Like when hydrogen, because it's element, this is shown a periodic table. So, if hydrogen is mixed with what oxygen, it is water and that is amphoteric. That's why when we add water to acid or water to alkali it can react with both beryllium oxide that is amphoteric amphoteric means if we add acid or alkali it can react with both then aluminium zinc gallium tin so this region this whole region or lead this whole region is the amphoteric oxide you have to learn this like i will outline this boundary So this boundary is for amphoteric oxide. This whole region. Then what about the neutral oxide, the oxide which does not react with acid or base, but we call them as neutral oxide. And the only two neutral oxides are their carbon monoxide. So just learn their carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxide. These are the neutral oxide, nitrogen monoxide. The rest all are like if this carbon dioxide is acidic, but carbon monoxide is neutral. So learn the definition for neutral oxide that is carbon monoxide. Then on the right hand side, like if we, if we learn, if you memorize the acidic, if you memorize the amphoteric oxide and the neutral oxide, so on the right hand side, on the right hand side of this, you will find acidic oxide. On the left hand side of this, you will find basic oxides. But in your course, you don't have to learn all of them. The three examples of amphoteric oxide, which you should learn, that is zinc oxide, lead oxide, and aluminium oxide. That's only three examples. This is this table is correct. Like this is a complete explanation. But for your course outline, you should learn only three amphoteric oxide: zinc oxide, lead oxide, and aluminium. And the neutral oxide is carbon monoxide. There is nitrogen oxide is neutral, but you have to learn only one example that is carbon mono. And rest, if it is a metal oxide, it will be basic oxide. And if it's a non-metal oxide, it will be and acidic oxide. So if you learn these four examples, three for amphoteric and one is for neutral, then remaining you can simply name as a metal oxide or basic oxide or non-metal oxide. So so example, just learn the definition, the, examples for neutral that is carbon monoxide and amphoteric only three that is aluminium oxide zinc oxide and lead oxide so these three and remaining, if it is a metal oxide, it will always be a basic
like if there's a metal present the metal will be there with oxygen and if it is an acidic oxide then there will be a non metal with oxygen so if i say identify the type of oxide but just using this information so if i say i have sodium oxide na2o what kind of oxide is this first i will check the exceptions i am photaric the three amphoteric are there one neutral if it is not from this category then i have to check only the element which is here the element here is a metal so if the element which is attached with oxygen is a metal so what kind of oxide will be this this will be a basic oxide so first i have to check whether the example belongs to any of these examples such as aluminium zinc or lead or carbon monoxide if it does not belongs to these four examples then i will check the element which is present if the element present is a metal then it is a basic oxide same way if i say sulfur dioxide so what you will do you will first check the three uh, four examples three for amphoteric aluminium zinc lead and one is neutral carbon mono so this is sulfur sulfur is a non metal so non metal is there and whenever non metal oxide what kind of oxide is this this will be acidic oxide so just remember memorize these definite this these examples three for amphoteric and one for neutral and if it does not belongs to these examples then you will check the element if it's a metal then it will be basic and it's a non metal it will be acidic another example if i say i have magnesium oxide so what kind of oxide is magnesium magnesium it does not belongs to amphoteric or neutral so magnesium is a metal so what kind of oxide is this if it's a metal so it will be basic oxide same way if i say i have nitrogen dioxide so it does not belongs to these options so it will be a non metal and whenever it's a non metal what kind of oxide is this it will be acidic oxide so this is a simple way to identify the type of oxide and you will find sometime they give you the periodic table and identify they ask to identify the position so on the left hand side you will find basic oxide or metal oxide on the right hand side you will find acidic oxide and in between them you will find amphoteric oxide so magnesium oxide is a metal oxide or a basic oxide carbon dioxide is acidic sulfur dioxide is also acidic but the amphoteric oxide is oxide which can react with both acid and base so just learn three examples for your course only three examples you have to learn lead zinc and aluminum so this was a short topic related to types of oxide any question related to the class today so we completed topic 8.1 which was about acids and base and topic 8.2 which was about types of the oxides